What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to another Space Engineers 1 minute, 10 minutes, 1 hour challenge. And today we're going to be doing something very different from the last ones that we did with all these ships here. Today we're going to be making outposts in 1 minute, 10 minutes, and 1 hour. But we're not going to be doing them on this planet, no, we're going to be doing them on the moon. That's right, the moon is where we're going to be making our outposts because it's an environment that's a little more hostile with no oxygen and pressurization will be a little easier over here. So before us we have three different pads, a green one for our one minute challenge, a yellow one for our 10 minute challenge, and a red one for our one hour challenge where we're going to be attempting to build our outposts. The only rule is that each outpost must have a medbay or a survival kit on it and it must have power. Anything else is extra and I think by the time we're getting to the one hour one we're probably going to have a lot of extra stuff to add onto it. But here's our one minute one. We're gonna get started right away. So let's get our one minute timer on the clock. All right, we've got our timer on the screen. Let's get this started in three, two, one, bam. I got both timers started, one on my phone and one on there. So let's get started with expanding this a little bit. I'm gonna use these sci-fi interior walls to expand just a little bit on this side. Next, I'm gonna go with, I think, a uh, survival kit because I think that's going to be better than the med bay in this case. So plop that right there. We'll go with an O2H2 generator so that we can provide ourselves a little bit of... Oh, I'm going to need to expand this a little bit. I don't want anything to be floating, even though maybe that's out of scope for the uh, for the one minute challenge. But anyway, we're going to need some sort of cargo container. Maybe I'll put it on this side right here. And we definitely need a battery. Where are our batteries? I'm lost. Okay, battery, battery. And let's try and get a solar panel here as well. Uh, solar. We'll use one of the new ones because why not? Plop that right there. Okay, what else are we gonna want? Probably like a seat or something? Uh, seat. Let's get a control seat, cause why not? Uh, we'll plop that maybe in this corner so that you can look out on the horizon. And then what else are we gonna want? Maybe an antenna. Let's throw an antenna in here somewhere. We're running out of time, just a few more seconds left. Boom, antenna, last second. Stop that timer. And there is our one minute outpost. It's a little bit lopsided, but it is an outpost. It uh, it does have the, the things that are required, which is a med bay or survival kit, as well as power. And it's got a little bit of power generation as well. We managed to stick an antenna in at the very last second, so that's good. It's got a way to refill your O2 and H2 with this O2 H2 generator. And it's got some storage on it, so. It's not pressurized, it's not pretty, but guess what? It'll do the trick. Alrighty, next up is where the real fun begins, and that's with the 10 minute challenge. I think we're gonna be able to do a little bit more with this one, uh, with, with a decent timer, maybe some actual pressurization. So let's get the 10 minute timer on the screen. All right, there's the timer. Let's start it in three, two, one. Here we go. Now with this one, I don't really want to go over scope, but I also don't want to run out of things to do. So we're going to need to go a little bit bigger. Uh, let's start just like we did with the other one with our sci-fi interior blocks. I'm going to go up right here and maybe do the same thing on this side. And we're going to do a door right there. So let's press number seven here, grab our door, and we're going to use one of these uh, sliding hatch doors. I really like this one. And in fact, we'll do an airlock. So let's do like that. So then we have a, a nice sliding glass door there. Um, while we're here, what I might do is I might put a vent in here. So let's grab a vent. Uh, and I'm thinking this is going to be our little entryway here. So we'll throw a vent right there, flip that the other way around, and we'll have a couple blocks kind of underneath which are gonna lead to, to some of the stuff that we're gonna have inside this base. So right when you get in, I think it'd be a good idea to have a med bay here. So let's go med bay, plop that right there. If I can, I might need to stick a block underneath it. I guess it doesn't really matter what's underneath this. We'll, we'll, we have plenty of time to make it look a little bit nicer. Actually, we are one minute down already, so we've gotta be a little careful. Um, I'm gonna expand this to about that big. I'm gonna let this be the walls of this of this room right here. Boom, there we go, there's gonna be our floor. Let's go with that med bay. Oh, the med bay is upside down, that's why it's being a little weird. Okay, so med bay is gonna go, actually, let's do the med bay over here. Uh, and the only way, the only reason I say that is because that's gonna make it really easy to get these connected uh, with our conveyors. Since we're making this pressurized, that's gonna be pretty important. So let's use some of these. Boom, we'll go straight, boom, boom and we're gonna use a, a full-on conveyor for this one right here. So right here, these should be connected. Let's go ahead and put an O2H2 generator in here. So we'll get an O2H2 generator, put that right on the back side of this. And we're gonna to wanna to get some oxygen and hydrogen storage also, so let's get that as well. Okay, so I'll throw a mini oxygen and hydrogen tank right there, and we gotta connect these up, so let's put one of these right here for uh, redundancy, and then I need to get something that's gonna connect these together. 
fact, maybe I'll go with a conveyor, and then right here, I'll just use one of the turn pieces like that. Okay, so thus far, we do have a pretty decent thing going on. We have a, a room here, and that could go into pot uh, potentially another room. So I'm thinking this is looking this way. So let's throw a door in right here, and we're going to use some of our blocks right there, and then we're going to put our walls in right here. So let's get some windows. Alrighty, with six minutes remaining, we've, we're only building our first room so far. We need to really step up the production on other things. I'm worried I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself with some of this stuff. Especially with these windows, which are very difficult to put all down on one, one bar because they don't have a common block, I don't think. But, let's get that one. That one. Boom, boom. I'm just going to put some blocks over the top just like that. We'll get these up here and we'll get this maybe right here and up there. We'll just cover this entire thing right here. Now we're definitely gonna need some power. So while we have this room right here, what I might do is I might throw some batteries in here. So let's go uh, warfare batteries, cause looks matter. One, two, and I think that might be fine for what we're, what we're trying to do. How much time do we have? We're just at about halfway uh, done so far and we've got one room built. So since we have power in here, I wanna actually test that these are gonna work. Let's go over here into our O2H2 generator and throw some ice. Uh, now we are in creative mode, so we can plop in here and just plop a uh, hundred thousand ice in there if we want to. That's not going to give it any ice. Oh, we need like a we need a um, a storage container or something. So you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's let's actually plop our storage uh, containers right there, and I'm just gonna run this this way. Boom! Right there. Then I should be able to plop some of my ice in here. So let's spawn into targeted container. That's the wrong thing. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, we spawned our ice in right there. Let's see that this is uh, pressurized. So close that, make sure it's pressurized real quick. Perfect. Okay, we have one pressurized room. This is good. With four minutes remaining, we need to continue doing our other stuff as well. Okay, so I really want to get an assembler and a refinery on here. So you know what I might do is I might stick the refinery on the outside just like that. And I might stick the assembler all the way on the other side. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're going to do it because why not? Uh, so assembler is going to go right there refinery right there. It's looking good. I need to pressurize this room because I really want to keep these all pressurized. So what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to put a vent right here. Okay, there we go. There's our vent. So let's make sure we can uh, we can actually pressurize this thing. I'm going to go bam, bam, a couple of these like that. We're going to try and pressurize this room the easiest way possible, which is going to be doing the same thing right here by uh, just kind of simply bringing these blocks over like this. Let's uh, let's put an antenna up, because why not? Just so that we can kind of keep on the same level as the other one, we'll throw an antenna right, uh, right here, maybe. I don't know, I think that looks kind of cool. I'll go and give this one a connector as well, so it's got something a little bit cooler. All right, we barely have any more time left. How are we doing? We, I think we have pretty much everything we want on this base right now. So let me get a bed real quick. I'm going to throw this bed right here in this corner so that I may sleep. I'm going to get some cool looking blocks. Maybe uh, maybe some of our nice looking ones here. And I need to get lighting in here for sure as well. Come on, scroll, scroll faster. That's not the ones I want. Where are they? Right here. Boom. 52 seconds left. I need these window blocks. Number... That's not the one I'm looking for. Window. This is the one I'm looking for. Bam. Is this going to look good? I don't know. We're just going to do it anyway. Okay, let's get some lights in here. Uh, number three. Plop one right there. We'll plop one right here. I need to make sure this room is also pressurizable. It is. Yep. I can, I can already see that. And then let's adjust the lights just a little bit. Light. Bam. Bam. We'll go nice warm color. Some nice lighting right there. Bump down the intensity. Okay, we have 22 seconds left. Is there anything else that we need? We've got an antenna. We've got connector. We've got power. We've got this. Oh, power generation is probably pretty important. Let's jump out here real quick. Try and get a solar panel because that's the quickest thing that we'll be able to put down. And I'm going to plop that down right on the top if I can. I can't. That's not good. Uh, can I get like a quick thing right here? Oh, we ran out of time. Okay. Dang. Okay. Well, it would have been nice. We would have had a solar panel right there, but we ran out of time, which means this base has no power generation. I may have bit off more than I could chew with this, although it doesn't seem like it, but I think maybe we spent a little bit too much time uh, trying to get things planned out. 
Anyway, let's check out what this one has. It does have a connector, so it can support ships. Uh, the one minute one does not actually have a connector, so that's an interesting thing. Uh, it's got an antenna as well. It has a proper airlock right here, uh, although it doesn't have any script or anything that will support, you know, doing any airlock stuff, but it, it does have the airlock if you're um, if, if you do it yourself. It's got a proper med bay, uh, which I'm going to use to refill my power here. There we go. Um, it's It's got two rooms in it. So there's this one room right here, which is independently pressurizable. And then over here, it's got another room, which is kind of the more utility room where it's got an O2H2 generator. It actually has oxygen and hydrogen tanks. I'm surprised these pressurized together, but I guess I guess they did. I'm, I'm glad for that. Okay. I was a little worried about those gaps. Anyway, though, it's got two battery areas. It's got vents. It's got a bed that I can use to sleep in, cargo containers. It's got a proper refinery in here right there. And then it's got a proper assembler that I can use as well. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good outpost. It could definitely use a little bit more in the looks. Oh, it's got lighting as well. That's probably an important thing. Um, but yeah, I could definitely use a little bit more in the looks department, but that's what we were able to do in 10 minutes. All right, now that we've built our one minute outpost and our 10 minute outpost, it's time to get started with our one hour outpost. Well, we'll have one hour to complete an outpost. It's a lot of time. But even though it is a lot of time, I won't be fooled into thinking that it's infinite time because we always run out of time toward the end. So this time I'm going to plan for it. And the last 10 minutes, I'm going to try to reserve for uh, fixing things up and making things look a little bit nicer so that we don't end up think with things like this where it's floating. We don't end up with things like this where we're missing a block that would be really, really important. Uh, we're going to plan for it. So without further ado, let's get our thing started. Let me get my phone ready because I got to have this one because the phone tells me when the time's over and this uh, one on the screen is for you guys. So let's get it going in three, two, one, bam. All right, we got 60 minutes on the clock. Let's get started with some of our nice looking blocks. We'll go with uh, this one, I think maybe. We're going to start with our entrance right here, just like we did before. And the way I do this uh, is um, for the 10 minute ones, uh, for the sorry, for the hour ones, I'm going to go away for 10 minute increments. And I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I've been doing. So, um, yeah, get ready for a little bit of a montage looking thing starting now. All right, we're just coming off on the first 10 minutes here. I am just finishing up this. So I've been working on a little entrance way right here. We've got a little entrance area right there with a window. Then we've got this sort of uh, room area where it's kind of like a common room. And then I've got some rooms here, which are gonna be nice for the um, uh, for the outpost. We'll be able to advertise these rooms. If anyone needs to stay, that's where they'd stay. So uh, next we're gonna work on finishing this up and then we will probably get to work on getting some O2 H2, some, some ventilation in here, something like that. So let's keep going. All right, just coming up on the 40 minute mark and I've created a small bit of a hangar right here. We've got a little bit of hangar and I'm go I've, I've got like a secondary room that's setting or that's getting set up right here. Uh, it's coming along in the next 10 minutes. I think I'm going to try to add some landing bays around the back over here and I think that'll look pretty nice. So let's keep going. All right, we just passed the 30 minute mark and I am uh, starting work on like a little bit of a landing bay out there. We've already got the nice hangar over here set up with its <laughs> giant door. I've got a little bit of a, a power room as well. So we're starting work on this hangar at, or this, uh, this landing bay and hopefully this goes well. We will see how it goes though. All right, we're at the 20 minute mark and I've added this cool little uh, hydrogen area as well as a couple of landing pads right there. So what we need to do next is get some refineries and some assemblers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm thinking I'm gonna stick them right here where I'm looking outside. So let's see if I can get that going and be right back. Okay, we've just passed the 10 minute mark. I'm still trying to get a couple things built up, but for the most part, the base is done. We only need a couple more things. Actually, I, mean, I need to make this look a little bit nicer as well. 
Uh, we'll figure it out. We've got 10 minutes, and I said I was going to dedicate the last 10 minutes to making things look nice, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's do it. All right, 40 seconds remaining. I like how the thing turned out. I'm not terribly happy. Oh, I, I repainted the entire thing. I'm not terribly happy with uh, with the colors, but it, it's gonna have to do because I don't have enough time to uh, change it. I could potentially do something like this. Uh, I can't really do it on the other side though, so I'm gonna have to be fine with it like that. Uh, right here, I could potentially do something like this. Turn that around. We got 15 seconds remaining. Yep, okay. Anything else we wanna do? Maybe something like that, I don't know. It's, it's not floating, which is good. Uh, I'm sure we're forgetting something. I'm absolutely sure we're forgetting something. You know what? Let me real quick get an orange color. I'm gonna go, we have two seconds remaining. One, two, three, four. Okay, no, I got them all. I got <laughs> Let's pause that. Timer has ended. Okay. We have a little bit of color to the base, which is more than I can say about anything else. But, uh, but yeah, I'm sure there's something I forgot. What did I forget? Uh, I really don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and tour it. Let me get this thing off the screen real quick. There we go, we'll go ahead and tour our one hour outpost, and here it is from the outside. It's very white, gray looking. It kind of blends in with the moon, but that's okay. It's got a cool looking antenna right there, I'm kind of proud of that. We were able to get that in the last 10 minutes, um, which I did say I wouldn't be doing anything except for cleaning things up after the 10 minute mark, but I guess I lied because I did build that antenna and I think it looks pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside our one hour outpost. Let's see how it compares to the 10 minute and the five minute ones. So um, one thing you'll notice about this one, it doesn't actually have any solar. That is something that I forgot. I had wanted to build some sort of solar tower. Oh, that's that's not right. Oh, well, you know what? It's a feature, not a bug. Uh, I had wanted to build some sort of solar tower, but we ran out of time, so uh, we didn't get to a solar tower, but we do have other means of power generation. Let's head inside and see what we've got. So first, we're greeted with a nice little entrance room, which has its own little pressurizable area. It's got a little plant right there. You can look at the, the floating 10 minute base over there if you'd like to. Uh, moving on inside, we have, oh, I forgot to close these doors. Let me just pretend you didn't see that. Close, close, okay. Moving on inside, we have plants on the right and we have a fish tank on the left right here. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, we've got a, a nice little TV right there with a sofa, another window that we can look at our 10 minute base from and, uh, and, and a little um, med bay area right here, satisfying our med bay requirement. I'll go ahead and get my power so that I can turn on my uh, flashlight as well. Actually, you know what? Let's keep our flashlight off so that we have to um, depend on the lighting of this place. Moving to the left over here through this door, we have to the right a couple of rooms. I'm not sure how I feel about these windows. I think I can maybe do a little bit better there. But inside each of these rooms is basically a very simple bed with a uh, one of those, a little desk, as well as a window looking out into the, uh, the outside area. Uh, the other room is pretty much identical and there's a bathroom in between them, you know, for for, for needs. Uh, over here we have an interesting looking uh, hanger. It's It's got one of those little arm spine looking uh, connectors that I don't really know if it's gonna work very well because it's very high up. But I tried something and either it worked or didn't. This is completely pressurizable as well through that thing over there. And we can go ahead and open that, giving us a nice view of the outside. Closing that back up, let's now go and uh, and go into that room over there where those windows are looking. So over here we have another room, which is basically our little power room. And this room sports a, uh, a, a reactor right there as well as two hydrogen engines and then a little wall of batteries as well as its own little vent for pressurizing purposes. Finally, let's go outside and look at what we have over here. So going outside, we have another airlock in the back just in case you need to use that. Let's go ahead and open this one. And uh, yeah, so Looking uh, to our left, we have this little landing pad, so you can land two ships here, uh, one right there and one right there. They're not centered, but they're the same amount of non-centered, so I hope that doesn't bug anyone too much. Uh, over here, we have our refining and our assembling. The assemblers have one sp uh, two speed modules and one power efficiency module, while the refineries have one speed module and three yield modules. Uh, there's two of each. And then we have our cargo down there as well. So I got on these stairs that'll bring us to our ground floor. We've got our cargo containers right here. That's one big weakness of this base is it doesn't have a large amount of cargo, just a couple cargo containers here and there. Uh, that's something I wish I had spent a little bit more time on. Beautiful view of this, by the way. Dang. Uh, moving over here, we have our, uh, our hydrogen things. And in fact, this is incomplete. There was something else I wanted to do to this that I completely forgot until now. I had wanted to extend this so that it goes alongside all of these so you can kind of walk along here, but I did not find the time to do that so uh rip that but i think this is a cool idea for the uh 
for the uh, these things. Actually, not generating any of this, which makes me wonder if this is even connected. <laughs> Oh, well, in a perfect world, they would be generating stuff. And uh, and anyway, let's move on to probably what I think my favorite feature is, which is this cool little uh, antenna looking tower. It's got this scaffolding ladders. You basically just keep climbing all the way up throughout this scaffolding and you're gonna get to the top of this really neat looking tower. Once you get to the top, there are these stairs that are gonna bring you to the, uh, the top level where you can do any maintenance you need to do on this antenna. It's gonna take us a million years, so speed. <laughs> all right, there we are at the top. Let's press F to get off of this thing. We can go up to the top. Now, I wasn't able to find any scaffolding uh, or or uh, catwalk corner like this, so I just used one of those, making it very easy to fall off. That's an OSHA violation, but whatever. And here is the top of the base where you can look down at the base, look up at the antenna, or look at the Earth-like planet where our other creations are. Um, but there we go. That was a full tour of the one hour base. What we were able to accomplish in one hour. Is it missing a couple things? Yes, it cannot take advantage of solar power, but does it have uh, a couple more things than the other bases? For sure. Uh, there was a lot more that I had written down on my list of things to potentially do in the one hour challenge, uh, like having, you know, automated defenses or like an emergency siren or something like that. As with any of these challenges, there are a lot of really cool ideas that I don't have enough time to do. So in the future, I've been thinking about maybe doing a 10 hour one as well. So we could do, uh, we could maybe do one minute, one hour, 10 hours and see how that kind of affects things. I think that'd be kind of crazy because imagine what kind of base we could make in 10 hours. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. But anyways, all in all, I think we came out with three pretty cool bases. I don't think I'm going to put these on the workshop because bases on the workshop aren't, doesn't make really as much sense as a, a ship on the workshop. If you really want to see it though on the workshop, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make an exception uh, for whichever one you want to see. But ultimately, how do you think I did? Post down in the comments what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, some ideas that maybe I gave you for your own builds or some things that I could have done a little bit better. Um, and there's not really any testing to be done on this one. So this is going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And with that, with one final look at all of our little bases that we have, I will see you all in the next video.